hey what's going on guys welcome back to another tutorial in this Django tutorial series and in this video we are going to be taking a look at the urls.py and learn a bit more about it and then maybe touch a little bit on views.py as well so the main principle of you are using urls.py is to you know separate your urls make it managed and stuff and these are all going to be dynamic URLs, not like hard coding each URLs into links or stuff. These are the dynamic URLs. And in the movie review main project files file directory, there is a main URLs.py and there is our app and it does not have URLs.py. So the most efficient way of using URLs is to create each URL for each app, meaning we create urls.py for this application. If we have another application, we create urls.py for another applications as well. So first let's create urls.py in the main application. Simply press right click and do new file and type urls.py. And then you can just copy this and then let's paste it over here. So we are in the main app urls.py and we don't need this admin we can just remove it and we can just get rid of this for right now so okay so once we have created a urls.py our project needs to know that there is a separate url for the app which we can declare in the main urls.py in the movie review directory so we need to import include so this is going to be provided by django.urls and then simply type in the URL patterns, it's gonna match all the URL patterns. We are going to type path and we'll just leave it blank for right now because this is our main app and we'll say include and include. We type in the name of the app, which is main dot URLs because we are getting URLs. This means go to main and get the URLs, which is main, get the URLs, which is this one. So basically the main folder project I mean main our movie review project URLs is now considering URLs from the app as well so over to here that's it for this one and it's gonna include the URLs from main let's go over here we don't have to define anything right now so whatever URLs this app is gonna have the project is gonna read it and then display out so it, it sounds a bit confusing right now, but whenever we start creating the views and then you see what you're building, then it starts to make sense. And in our next video, we'll discuss about views.py, about writing your first view. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.